Well, today we're going to have a little this book. I think uh, there's a lot of interesting things in here that you guys, I'm sure, would appreciate seeing. So we're going to uh, we're going to run you through it here uh, kind of quickly. But uh, we'll just flip over to the front page, and uh, nothing special about that. But it's our it's our front page. On the back side of it, we've got shipping instructions and and a, a few other little uh, bits of information about how we like to do business. Uh, the next page over here is um, basically I clip out out of all these magazines that run articles on us. Um, these are not ads, by the way. These are these are magazine endorsed uh, product releases. We we didn't pay for any of these things. The the people are constantly calling me up wanting stuff to put in their magazines, so we give them information and uh, they print it up. And for for example, uh, this is the Eagle's Eye. It's a uh, uh, a Paisano publication, which is the same people that that uh, manufacture uh, that publish Easy Riders. Yeah, v, v twin, in the wind, tattoo, the whole gamut of them. They got a ton of them. And this tech tips and tricks. They're the biggest uh, publishing house in, the, in in the world, as far as I'm concerned. Um, also, here's another one. Uh, v twin magazine, uh, tech tip and V twin. Uh, we made uh, the top six in the 1991 ignition system guide. And uh, that's what this one here is. Uh, over on this other page here, we have. Uh, a variety of, of uh, product releases from uh, from different magazines. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, motorcycle product news. We've got product news. We've got Easy Riders. Um, we've got uh, we made the best of product news here, and um, this is these go back a few years. They, in fact, uh, I don't have them listed chronologically. They're just strictly in there as as the you know the the mood hit me. You know we put them in there to as they fit the page. I just paste them up and that's the way they come out. And we send out copies of these things to all you guys that request our information. Uh, the next page here is uh, uh, this is a motorcycle industry uh, magazine and we have uh, dealer news and we have uh, the product news again. Over here on this page this is product news, um, product news, product news, product news, that's a whole page of product news there wide variety of stuff. Okay, here's we've got um, here's, a, here's another another uh, best of product news. It says, uh, uh, I'm going to read this off to you real fast. A special monthly feature of motorcycle product news. This column contains the product story in the June of 88 edition that received the greatest number of inquiries from our readers. We like that stuff. We like to, you know, we like to clip things like that out. Uh, here's another one that was in uh, another magazine called the uh, the Christian Biker News. Um, here's a product news. Here's another product news. And uh, product news is a they they stay on top of us. They won't let us get away without telling them everything we know. Here's a here's a, here's a dealer news one. Uh, that's motorcycle dealer news. Um, what do we got here? Let's see. This is uh, this is motorcycle dealer news. Here's a, here's here's an Easy Riders. Here's another Easy Riders. Um, as you can see, we've been in Easy Riders magazine quite a bit. Uh, here's a couple more dealer news. Um, product news, product news. These are these. I haven't even pasted these guys. They're just hanging around, just waiting to get fit. I don't usually paste them until I get a full page. There's one from Easy Riders from way back when. Let's see. Okay, here's our article on detonation. This is one I wrote, and it's it's been hacked up by a few different people. You know, when you send these things out to the magazines, they like to edit them, and uh, you know, throw in their two cents and pull out half of, half a year's. So that's what's happened in this case. Uh, however, they did they, they did do a very nice uh, uh, write up on it. They just left out a few things that I felt were very important. It's a two sided piece. Discusses our tool finish and how we acquired it, how many years of, of R and D we put into developing it, and who helped us, etc. Here's something on the uh, on the Rivera four valve 
set up we we do a little uh, do a few tricks to those too for you guys that really want to go fast and spend a spend a mega bucks to do it we can we can help you there here's a photograph of the of the cylinder heads uh, with the four valves after we've done them up here's one of our tech tips on the on that very uh, very setup This is the coming thing here for the guys that can afford it. These things are, uh, they've got uh, capable of unbelievable, I mean, outrageous flow specs, which we're going to show you here in just a few minutes. I've got flow charts on all this stuff we're going to run through. Here's our, here's a, a piece on our new, uh, our new uh, super port design, which by the way is the hot setup for you guys. Uh, that don't know about it and you still still think polishing is the way to go uh, let me tell you something uh, give us a call and let me send you out some literature and some flow specs you'll be amazed here's another photo of our tool finish kind of blown up my cameraman's fingers probably getting a little jer jerky around now, but we'll keep going until he says cut. Here's another one on our uh, on our evolution setup. 25% increase in horsepower, guys. Just doing a little head work, and that's across the board. Here's another uh, Easy Riders. Uh, they did a little thing on there. Of course, you you already saw it in their magazine on our on our uh, our tool finish. This is about the Super Port Flow Evolution 1340 and also the, uh, the Sportster models which have the Evolution uh, motors. It's quite, a, quite interesting information there. Here's another, uh, another old Easy Riders part, parts box uh, product release from the old days. This is uh, 1988, August 1988. Here's information on our no-lead conversions that we do for all the Harleys. Got a lot of specs in here that, that you guys will be interested in knowing about. Here's a photograph of the, some of the parts we use. And um, this is a V Twin Tech tip right here um, that we wrote up for them. And it's got uh, it's about our, our dual plug setups and how we you know how we make them work right. All right, a little bit about our ignition kit and how it works. Here's a little bit more information, basic information about dual plugging, what it has has done for uh, for engines ever since 19. Uh, let's see, the first dual plugging in aircraft was, I believe, in 1917 or something like that. I don't even have my updated information here. Lycoming and, and Continental, but there was one before them that used it too. This is a this is a little uh, a little piece I drew up after having a photo blown up for uh, for an article that Easy Riders did on our our detonation, and uh, we retrieved the artwork which is sometimes difficult to do when you submit it to these, uh, these publishers. Um, this is a crane cams at. They've got some good stuff. This is our ignition testing machine, um, which I should fire up for you guys. Uh, I think eventually I'm going to fire it up and show you how it works. It's really neat. Uh, that's how we, we test coils. That's how we ha have proved uh, beyond any, any doubt that our ignition system does work. This is basically your Harley Davidson motorcycle here. Here's your points. We have a little motor that turns the, you know, makes the makes the points open and close. Uh, you've got your battery uh, ignition system with a coil. It's your your basic Harley Davidson ignition system, and uh, you know we set it up on an aluminum plate, and uh, these are these these screws here are, are uh, take the place of the spark plugs and we can unscrew them to see how much voltage we have. We can measure the uh, the air gap and, and tell you how, how good these coils work and 
We've tested quite a few. We know just about everything about everybody's stuff, and they don't know anything about ours. All they, all they know is about their own, and it's not really the most intelligent way to go about doing business. Yeah, is she a beauty, huh? My sister. This is a little dual plugging information. Uh, we, uh, when we dual plug your heads, we give you, uh, you know, an information sheet that tells you exactly what to do and what not to do, how to, how to torque them, different specs, spark plug numbers, that sort of thing. And uh, everybody that gets their heads dual plug gets one of these. We've got a lot of instructions here. We're, we're getting into the instruction phase. Uh, here's the, here's the uh, uh, dual plug wire kit instructions right here. Here's a photograph of our ignition system, abbreviated, as you can tell. We've just cut everything to fit in a in an 8x10 uh, format here. Put some little little bits and pieces of information on it. Here's a, here's a three bolt exhaust flange kit set up on these shovel heads. Exhausting solutions, easy riders tech tip. Let's see, when did they run that one? January 1990. Nice tech tip. Uh, exhausting solutions. Yeah, that's the one that's in this tech tips and tricks. As a matter of fact. Okay, and then we've got uh, we've got installation instructions for our three bolt flange kit. Um, and this this these instructions cover uh, installing them yourself from scratch. If you guys want to do it, I'll show you how many pages. And we've got photographs galore here. We've got uh, one two pages here with photographs, numbers, and arrows, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, here's, the, here's the third page with information and more photographs, arrows, and all that shit. We've, here, and here's another one. There's six full pages of information and photographs for you guys. That's how, how, that's how it, we like to inform you about our products if you buy them. Uh, templates if you have a pan head because you have to do a little fin modification which is really very minor. We send you out templates with with it if you if you're like I said if you've got a pan head and you want to do it we've got a front and a rear template uh, top end order kit modification this is basically what we just went through I'll just flash right by that because you've just seen that uh, you've seen these things too uh, here's an interesting page uh, here's our dual plug knucklehead all assembled check this out would you you guys see these little spark plugs in here these little peanut plugs and I was telling you, ten or fifteen thousands clearance. I wasn't bullshitting. I mean, they are close, but they work. That's the bottom line. 